Hey everyone, Peter Charcalis with The Shaving Shop as well as Ariana Nibbins. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well today. It's gonna be a special day. So um, we're gonna finally release to the public um, the Ultima Bass. And we're gonna start out with uh, Tobacco Road, uh, which uh, some of you have heard of already. And um, the packaging is in, so it'll be a, a full presentation. Now, uh, what makes this really special is um, here's the packaging. So you can see it's a silver uh, foil print. Um, we're also going to release uh, the soap for Anna, which is David Gonzalez's uh, sister who just recently passed away. Um, so I made this on a very limited basis. I just hope to sell out real quick and cut a check or, or send me a PayPal, whatever, whatever David prefers. Uh, to David for a thousand dollars or more, uh, depending on how much we sell, um, uh, to help with the funeral costs. So um, I was working on this for a while. This bay rum. I, I personally don't like bay rum, so um, I wanted to do something a bit different uh, with it. And um, I know David likes bay rums, and I decided, you know what? Why don't we just plow forward with it and release it as part of this soap for for Anna. So um, it says for, for Anna here. This is in the the new uh, Ultima base, which um, I think is our our, our best product uh, thus far. Not replacing K two E. It's part of our, our luxury line. Uh, different different jars and full packaging. So this is not your typical uh, bay rum. First of all, it's lightly scented. So for those, I mean, I hope anyone who's interested would buy it just for helping the family. But um, if you're buying it because you love bay rums, this is not a typical bay rum, number one. And number two, it's lightly scented. It's not a it's not an in-your-face uh, uh, scent. Um, I did not add cloves. I did not add cinnamon, if you're concerned about that. If you love uh, cloves and cinnamon in your uh, traditional uh, bay rum type scent, um, then maybe this isn't for you. But I still would hope that you would get it uh, to support the family. Um, so, in place of the, the spice <laughs> that's normally in a, a bay rum scent, I've added real tonka, I've added real coumarin, I've added a, 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 just a pinch, just a little bit of uh, pig pepper, essential oil. Um, the, the scent itself has obviously uh, rum in it, uh, obviously it has uh, bay leaf, real bay leaf, uh, clementine, real clementine, orange blossom, Oh, uh, geez, I'm going by memory here. What else did I add? Uh, geranium. I added a, a, a slight uh, powder note because I wanted to... First of all, I wanted something different. I wanted something very wearable and something that everyone would love, not offensive in any way. Uh, and I also wanted to add something for Anna. So I, add, I added that slight uh, uh, um, powder note. Um, what else? Oh, a little bit of green apple. Very little, little bit of pomegranate, but it's mostly, you'll get mostly citrus at the top and the bay leaf, uh, the rum you'll get. So, um, and the rest are supporting casts. So this will be released today at six o'clock. I'm gonna shave with it. So um, today at six o'clock along with Tobacco Road, um, this I made just a small batch. Some of these are already spoken for with the VIP members. So I, I've taken some aside and I made it available to, to them. Um, and then we'll, we'll, but we'll also make this available to the public. Uh, the base itself, I think is wonderful. Um, I've actually updated it. So it's even better than um, what I had originally with the very first batch that I made that I introduced to the members, I tweaked it a bit. So um, let's give it a, a roll. So um, when the brush, you're gonna use a synthetic and go for about 30 seconds. I'll just do one pass real quick. I just really wanted to introduce this to you, show you what it looks like. Um, packaging, oh, splash. So here's the splash packaging. I designed it myself with uh, Talia Ariana approving. Nothing gets past her nowadays. So that's enough. So I've got a nice dry load. I'm gonna 
wet the face a little bit. I'll go with the timeless razor that I just have here in front of me. I have no idea how fresh the blade is. So um, the base itself is, uh, the, so what's different? You're gonna notice that the, uh, the lather is different. It's a, a, even a creamier lather than K2E. I believe it's easier to uh, create that lather. It doesn't require as much water. Although it could, it, it could still accept quite a bit of water, but it's uh, definitely easier. The tweaks that I made, um, I improved the, from the first batch, I improved the residual slickness a bit and the post shave is a little bit better than what it was. And I thought it was really good before, but some people said that they didn't see much of a difference in uh, this in K2E as far as slickness. Um, a couple people reported that the residual slickness was not as good. So I did tweak that and now it's ready for everyone. But the, the lather, by far the best I've ever done, I've ever created. Let's see. It's just super creamy. I mean, it's ready to go now, but um, super, super creamy. That's good. You see, it's a very luxurious lather, very dense, very, very dense lather. It could have accepted more water, but you get an idea. All right, quick pass. Wash the hands. So today's six o'clock, timeless. We'll make this available. Oh, I should tell you, a lot of our members have asked if I could scent Soap of Antiquity. The answer was always no, for multiple reasons. Um, the soap itself has a lot of laurel berry uh, oil in it, and uh, it's very, very, very strong, the scent of that. So, soap of antiquity is naturally scented with what's in there to make the soap. Kind of smells like almost like a smoky cypress. But, here's uh, the properties within the ingredients are just great for the skin. If you have skin ailments, if you have eczema or psoriasis, if you have acne, um, it's antibacterial, antimicrobial. It's just, it's just a really, really, really good soap. But I can't add fragrance to it because it'll just suck. <laughs> because it'll mix in with the laurel berry and it just will smell terrible. So, um, I'm making another uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna call it an Ultima soap. Um, body soap, hand body soap, face soap. But it's gonna be um, with basically the same ingredients minus the laurel berry. Heavy on the olive oil, it's gonna have tallow in it, um, shea butter, and a little bit of coconut oil, a little bit of uh, sunflower oil, but mostly olive oil. Um, used for thousands of years <laughs> for uh, uh, the Greeks and the uh, Italians, especially uh, goat's milk also. So um, I'm going to have not a, 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 I'm starting off very small because I have no idea if you guys want it or not um, for a tobacco road and for uh, cha-cha matcha 
which will be released soon. I'm releasing it tonight to the VIP members. Uh, then in the coming next couple of weeks, I'll, I'll introduce that to the public with this, this body soap as well. So anyway, um, feels good. Residual slickness is uh, greatly improved and uh, we're good to go. So guys, I hope you support this. Um, if we sell out really, really quick and there's just guys contacting me, oh, I missed out, I want, I'll make another small batch. Um, I don't know, uh, with family, it was just one, I think we just did one batch, I think. No, we did two, we actually did two, I believe. Um, but they were, again, small, small batches. So uh, we'll just see how this goes. I don't want anyone to be upset if they missed out. I have no idea what the demand is. Um, so we'll see. But anyway, thank you. Uh, please take a look. Try to support the family. And um, GoFundMe will be in the product page. They're good. So if you don't want to buy the soap, but you would like to support the family and, you know, send $5, 10, whatever it is, uh, go, go visit the GoFundMe page. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.